table and the remaining cards on top. Anyway, the selected card is on top. Anyway, we do use your favorite method. Okay? Now you leave the deck on, ta on the table like this. This is the selected card, remember. You pick up the packet, drop the sandwich on top, keep a break below these three cards, and then double undercut them to the bottom. Okay? That's it. You want them to the bottom. The double undercut just explained like the uh, control. And you drop these on top. Because of the parity concept, you take cards two by two, and automatically the, so the card that was between the two jacks is it's becoming un eliminated, and the card that was originally on top of the other packet appears between the two jacks. That's it. Isn't that easy? But it's very strong. You spread the cards, you remove the sandwich, and the selected card is now between the two black jacks. Let me ask you a very strange question. Do you use what you tell the truth or you tell lies in your life? Truth. Truth. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. But today I give you the opportunity to lie if you want, and I'm sure that nobody's going to blame you for this. It's, you call them the white lies? White. White lies. White lies in this country. Beautiful. We don't have that in my country. But anyway, there are three, three kinds of lies. Three kinds of lies. So small lies, big lies, and statistics. <laughs> yes. And there's three kinds of liars. Small liars, big liars, and politics. <laughs> I'm sure that you are aware that politics is a Greek word made up of two words. Poly, that means many, and ticks, that means bloodsuckers. <laughs> but anyway, please remove nine cards from the deck. We will not use the entire deck, it's too long, just uh, nine cards. Yeah, okay, we can eliminate the, the remaining of the deck. Beautiful. Please, Roberto, touch any card. This is the one. You can leave it there, isn't it? Okay, there is your card. Do you want to change it? It's, um, no, that's fine. Th that's fine. A card like this. Now I'm going to ask you a few questions. And I repeat, you can say the truth, you can tell me the truth, or you can lie. Nobody's going to blame you. Most especially because this packet will act like a lie detector, and it's going to know. It's going to know if you lie or not. Please tell me if your card, it's clubs, hearts, spades, or diamonds. Spades. Spades. I don't want to know if you told me the truth. You, it, you could say diamonds, mm -hmm. remember that. Mm -hmm. Spades, okay? Mm -hmm. S-P-A-D-E-S, -E spades. Diamonds would have been a completely different word and, of course, a completely different amount of letters. I will eliminate the top and the bottom card, clearly. Now, is your card a number or a face card? And once again, I emphasize the fact that the two answer contains a different amount of letters. And you can say the truth or not. Face or number? A number. Number. N U M B E R. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Place the remaining on top and I eliminate the top and the bottom card once again. Odd or even? Odd or even? Like six is a, a even and, and three is odd. But you can say no matter what. Odd. Odd. O D D. Am I correct? Yes. Place the remaining on top, I eliminate the top and the bottom card. Final. Did you tell me the truth or did you lie? Yes or not? Tell the truth. So, you didn't lie? No. No. <coughs> N, O, place this on top. For the final thing, I eliminate the top and the bottom card once again. Now I want you to tell me the truth. What's the name of your card? Five of spades. Please turn it over and see if it works. Yes, <laughs> it did. Ah, oh, he knows. My friend Peter Duffy has, I don't know how many variation on this theme, uh, the lie detector theme. I don't, probably 20, 25, and I like the theme so much myself. And uh, this is based on the uh, Jim Steinmeier uh, principle. You use nine cards, three, six, and nine. The spectator can shuffle these cards, it doesn't really matter. You control the card fifth from the top. 
or actually fifth from the bottom as well, it doesn't really matter. A very easy way to do this is the spectator touches any card, let's say this, the four from the top, you show the card and you remember how many cards you have on top, you I count them, three in this case, you square and then you count, I leave it face up so you see what happened, you count you over and shuffle these three cards, if you have four cards on top, you over and shuffle four, six, six, it doesn't matter, one, two, and three, drop, drop the remaining on top, and then this stays always the same, no matter how many cards were on top, one, two, three, four, drop it on top, one, two, three, four, drop on top, and the card is automatically fifth from the top, it's a very easy control, okay, remember the first time you shuffle the amount of cards that were on top of the selected card, and then always four and four. Anyway, is there. I leave it face up so you see what happened. It stays always there, it doesn't move basically. The first question is, is your, uh, tell me the suit of your card. Remember spell plural, especially in the case of clubs, you want to deal that as well. If you spell only club, it will be four cards and it doesn't work clubs, let's say he, he may say the truth or he may lie, let's say he says clubs, C-L-U-B-S, drop the remaining on top and remove the top and the bottom cards and eliminate them, okay? The second question is a face card or is a number, even in this case emphasize the fact that the two words contain different amount of letters, this is very important, although <laughs> doesn't matter, let's say face, F-A-C-E, drop this on top and then eliminate the top and the bottom cards, okay? Is it black or red? Even in this case, the two words have different amount of number, of, of, of letters. Red, R-E-D, drop this on top and of course if you spell black, B-L-A-C-K, you use all the cards, it doesn't really matter. Take the top and the bottom cards, eliminate them. Did you, did you tell me the truth or did you lie? Yes or no? No. And oh, drop this on top, yes, Y, E, S, it doesn't matter, eliminate the top and the bottom card, and there is the selected card. It's very, very good. You have so many different holidays and things that have to pay attention in this country, you have so different, uh, so many different sayings, uh, sweet 16 for example, I never, what, what is a six, six, uh, sweet 16? When a girl reaches her 16th birthday. Ah, you see, we don't have that in Italy, I mean girls <laughs> reach uh, 16th birthday occasionally, uh, if the mafia doesn't get them before, but it's okay. <laughs> what six, uh, sweet 16, I cannot even pronounce it, uh, but everybody remembers that, probably it's the first kiss, Maybe. Maybe, yeah, 16. I remember I, I lost my virginity <laughs> in, in the back seat of a car. Too bad I was alone. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember perfectly that at 16 I did my very first car trick. I didn't have a life, I didn't have a girlfriend, nothing. So sad, so sad. Please, touch any card. And please tone it over, it doesn't matter, it's a uh, king. One more, Joe, touch any card, please. And we will use the magic number 16. One more, please. Three cards. Beautiful. Watch, we will use the magic number 16. We will add cards until we get to 16. 13, because he's a king, the jack is 11, the queen is 12, 13, it's a king. 14, 15, 16. Please count with me because I told you I'm very bad on that. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Correct? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Please take any card. Beautiful. I'm going to shuffle it a bit. Please place the, the card on top of any of these packets. It doesn't really matter. That, that one, like this. Okay? Beautiful. Watch the magic of the number 16. 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You could have selected three completely different cards. What was the name of your card, Joe? Right.
Michael DeMarco came up with this trick, which is very nice, very easy, obviously impromptu and easy. That's the main theme of this series of DVDs. And it's based on the Cape Canaveral car trick. Uh, that trick has so many, many, many names. Actually, we um, put one uh, variation of this trick in the first set of the DVDs by Paul Swinford, if I remember correctly. 52 card deck, remember that. Okay? Now, the spectator takes three cards, it doesn't really matter. You can come up with anything about the 16, uh, and you may ask the spectator the sweet 16. Uh, in, in, in this country, you have sweet 16. In Italy, we don't say sweet 16, so... And then, you three cards, and you deal cards until you get to 16. The, the, emphasizing the fact that a king is 13, a queen is 12, and the jack is 11. So, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's it. The spectator picks a card, I leave it face up so you see what happens, and he places these cards on any packet, it doesn't matter, let's say in this one. You drop the remaining of the cards on top, pick up this packet containing the selected card, drop it on any of these two packets in the assembled deck on the remaining packet, that's it. Now it's very